Yo, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and we are back again with our Top 25 series, this time for the month of April 2024, where we are going to be starting off, as always, with the Top Alliances. For today, we'll eventually move over to Personal Power for Top Players, then we'll do Top Free to Play, we will do uh, Alliance Merits, and then we'll do Personal Glory Points. Uh, that's kind of the five that we're going to be doing over the next five days, in addition to any additional content. We may also eventually expand that a little bit more. I'm still tweaking some things here and there. Of course, as always, if you enjoy the content, make sure you because it helps out a lot. And then let me get into a few housekeeping things. Number one, as always, the data that you're seeing here was pulled the morning of the 17th of April it took me I think about four hours or so so probably from like 12 to 16 UTC uh, which kind of covers one and two number three remember any powers that you see in game after you watch this video or once you do and if you were to go and check they're most likely going to be different they could be higher lower somewhere around uh, and then the next one is that if you do want to be able to view the public sheet which remember this is my master spreadsheet we have a public version that's available to everyone you can actually find that on the discord i don't know if i have this listed out we'll go like this so i can show it to you guys because that would probably help a lot uh and then you can see that here or we'll move this you just go on the discord link to that in the pinned comment description you'll go to reaction roles You'll select on Call of Dragons here, fourth from the left. Can also do it for our YouTube and live stream content. You will go here to Call of Dragons. It'll pop out, and it's going to be here in Data Stats. I still also have to put in my SB2 group preview, which I'll probably be doing right after I finish recording this video. But you can see here's the public one for Top Stats Global that you can access. And any of the data will be shown uh, 24 hours after, and it gets posted to the public version of the spreadsheet. With that in mind, here we go. Uh, starting with number 25, we have uh, 42 TC, the Continental, uh, the Continental, uh, coming in at 10.33 billion power in ST1-5, 190 players, average power is 54.4 million, gift levels 50, and they've made it here two months uh, in a row for them. So uh, welcome back. I'm pretty sure, let me do a quick search here, TC42, oopsies, hang on, I gotta do TC, yeah, see, okay, good, too. Okay, I just had to... Double check there. Am I going to have to come back again? Thankfully, no. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, then we get to number 24. <laughs> we have... Ooh, let me see if I can do this. That looks a lot better. Uh, we have SXE Savage Exiles. 10.39 billion power from ST1-4. 200 players. Uh, average player power 51.9 million. Uh, gift levels 50. This is their first time making the board. Now, also keep in mind, you may see some names on here where you're like, no, they've already been here before. It's just a name change. I always tell people, I'm not going to keep up with name changes. I'm not doing that anymore. So you either have the same name and I'll count you for consecutive months or you change your name and I'll restart you. But we're just keeping it easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl on that front. Uh, we have LNV, Luna Wolves. Woo-hoo! Uh, here for number 23, 10.5 billion, or we should, yeah, 10.5 billion power, ST1-1, uh, is with the KVK or the server they're in now. Uh, Cap, eventually I'll do Home Kingdoms for these as well, once that eventually comes out in the next update. Cap is 173 for current members, uh, 60.78 a million power for average player. Gift level 50, two months in a row. So welcome back, LNV. Uh, then we get to number 22. <clears throat> is A Squiggly C Minions of Chaos. 10.54 billion power. ST1-2, 200 players. 52.7 for average player power. Gift level is 50. And this is their first appearance on the board. So welcome. We get to number 21. We have ROG Ronin Guard. 10.7 billion power. ST1-14. And really wanted to smooth that out a little bit. 200 players, 53.5 million power for average player. Gift levels 50, and they've made it here three months uh, so far. So welcome back. Uh, then we get to number 22, or 20, if I can count right. We have Squiggly HP Hell's Paradise, 10.85 billion power, ST1-11. They have 206 players in the Alliance right now, 52.68 million for average player power. Gift levels 50, and this is their first time making the top 25, so welcome. Then we get to number 19. <coughs> There we go. And of course, we have the infamous GG, gang, gang, which is just really the only way to say it. 10.87 billion power for the Alliance ST1-6, 189 players, and 52.53 for average player power on million. Gift levels 50, and they've been here seven times now in the top 25. Let's look at number 18. We have FSK's Forsaken. 
because you said forsake yourself when you join this alliance. No, I mean, it just sounded good at the time. 10.94 billion power ST1-3, 206 members. 53.14 million for the average player power. Gift level's 50. Uh, and four months that they have, or four times that they've made it here. Out of the top 25. Number 17, we have BNR Brothers Everywhere. This is what I was told by them uh, because they're international. Uh, and I think Neat <coughs> told me this. It's actually also in our King's Guard, which is pretty cool. Uh, power 11.5 billion. ST1 10, 193 players, 59.59 million power for the average player. Gift levels 50. And they've made it here three times so far. Number 16, we have The Fear Show. The Fear Show. I get my Batman on there a little bit. 11.59. Billion power, SD1-8, 198 players, 58.56 million power for average player, gift levels 50, and they've appeared here five times. Now, let's get into the top 15 as we break in. We have BXS, the Blood Oath Syndicate, 12.09 billion power, SD1-4. Uh, they're at 191 players at the moment, 63.3 million power for average player, gift levels 50, and they have made it here 12 times under the top 25. Um, I think they either are the longest running right now or the second longest running. Let's go to number 14. We have L Squiggly TS Legacy the Syndicate. 12.14 billion power ST1-18. 192 players in the Alliance. 61.04 million power for the average player. Gift levels 50 in three appearances. They've made it in the top 25, so welcome back. Let's get over to number 13. We have NASA Space Force. Uh, that's my buddy Mustard Wolf's uh, Alliance rebranded. 12.25 billion power ST1-6. 194 player. 63.18 million power for the average player. Gift levels 50. And this is their first appearance under the under the rebrand. So welcome. Number 12. We have PTW The Degenerates. Because you are. You're just a bunch of degenerates if you join there. I mean, I think that is pretty obvious. Right? Uh, so yeah. We have 12.32. Billion power, ST1-2, 185 players in there, 66.64 million power for average player. Uh, gift levels 50, uh, and they have appeared here five times in the top 25, so welcome back. Number 11, we got OP-Outcast Potatoes, 12 0.44 billion power, ST1-13, 199 players in there, 62.55 million power for average player, gift levels 50, and two appearances they made in the top 25, so welcome back. Number 10. ROE, Rise of Elites, 12.77 billion power, ST1-6, current, 190 players in with 67.23 million power for average player, gift levels 50, and seven appearances they've made in the top 25, so welcome back, ROE. Number nine, BD-O Blood Oath, 12.81 billion power, ST1-1, 176 players in the Alliance at 72.81 million power. Power for average player, gift levels 50, and they have 12 appearances in the top 25, so welcome back. Uh, shout out to my buddy, my buddy Dusser Size. Uh, number eight, we have IL, excuse me, Squiggly IL, Infernal Legion, 12.86 billion power from ST1-12, 200 players in, 64.32 million power for average player, gift level 50, and three appearances here on the top 25, so welcome back. And number eight, number seven, we have EDS, Eternal Dragons. Track because that was my caca, but probably didn't go that well. 13.36 billion power. ST1 13, where they're at, 196 players in at the moment. 68.16 million for average player power, gift level 50, and their first appearance on the board. So, welcome. Number six, BTR Big E Tron. Say it right. <clears throat> I mean, I was only able to do that after multiple times of just mispronouncing. 13.58 billion power. ST1-12, 200 players in. 67.94 million power for the average player. Gift levels 50, and they have made five appearances here on the top 25, so welcome. Now, we get to the big top five. At number five, we have hyphen EIS, Eminence in Shadows. Like Dark Shadows from Turbo, which is a great movie about fast snails. 13.69 billion power, ST1-4. Cap, uh, 194 for current members. 70.57 million power per player. Uh, or averaging, we should say. Gift level 50. 11 appearances that they've made here in the top 25. <clears throat> at number 5. Number 4. We have TFS The Freak Show. The Freak Show. Which also means that they have been dethroned. Um, at least for this month. 14.1 uh, billion Power, ST1-4, 170 players in at the moment. Again, you can see they have some spots available. 82.97 million 
power per player on average. Gift level 50, eight appearances that they have made here in the top 25. Let's get to number three. We have hyphen NA hyphen Nova Avengers, which I believe is a merge between TA and NK, something around there. Uh, I don't know exactly what the percentages are, how many people came in from what, but I feel like that's what that is. Uh, and then uh, they're at 15.3. Uh, billion power, ST1-7, first alliance to break 15 bill, at least for this month, we should say specifically. Uh, 207 players in, 73.92 million power uh, uh, average per player, gift level 50, and first appearance uh, again with that. Let's get to number two. We have DS, X, DS, X. Now, from what I understand, I think they came from, it was 32 or 33, right? They were originally titled DNS, and then they changed to SK, uh, right, it was like SK1, SK2, and then last season it was 69IS, 69DS, I think, and now it's XDSX, and I, I don't know if that's because they couldn't go back to DNS. I think someone told me about this, where, I don't know if it was Darth that himself, someone said that like they couldn't grab the original alliance tag uh, of DNS, if that was the case, so if, if that's true, I don't know how you go about that unless they maybe remove the alliance or they have to delete it. So I don't know if there's kind of a workaround for that, if you're looking for a particular tag. Uh, but power is 15.6, 1 billion power, SD1-5, 208 players, 75.08 million power uh, average per player. Gift level's 50, and again, with the rebrand, this is their first time making it, so welcome, newcomers. And the number one strongest alliance at the moment is Nawar. Now, I don't know if Nawar has, at one point, I have to look on my list here, Right, because TFS was here for a very long time, you can see here, and then it was TA. So I don't know if Noor has ever been uh, a number one alliance here, right? Even if I'm going back really far, yeah, no. So it doesn't look like they have. I see a lot of TFS. There was DNS there on that one. You could see back in October. Uh, and then it's TFS, TFS, TFS. Uh, TFS, this is when I started adding TFS, TFS, and then Noor, yeah. So this is actually the first time Noor's been the number one alliance, the strong, number one strongest alliance in the game. They're at 16.7 billion, ST1-9, 190 players, 87.92 million uh, power for average, uh, gift level 50, and seven appearances that they have made here. So again, congrats on a new king, at least for this month and at the moment, with them making number one. As always, um, I guess the last note I'll make here is as it pertains to kind of the new height. So uh, right, previous was 15.88 set by TFS, 16.7 at least again as of recording and for the and for these series, this is the highest recorded alliance power thus far. And we can show you that the bubble for number 25, right, which is kind of like how is the bubble pushing, right? It was at 10.33 last month. It was at 9.34. So within a little over a month's time, right, a month and a week, the bubble has been pushed by almost a billion power, right? Catching up, where at the hot, the top end, if we go back to number one, right? So we've got a billion pushing on the on the bubble, and on the ceiling, 15.8, 16.7. So, you know, what, 800 million, 850, give or take, right? So that's kind of what you hope to see, right? You want the bubble to push up a little bit more than the ceiling is expanding, because that means that the top 25 is getting closer in power, right? So you're, you're hoping there's a little bit more balance. But again, it is still pretty wide when you think about 10.3 to 16.7, right? You're looking at what, uh, 6.4 uh, billion power that separates. So yeah. Uh, and as always, right, if you're an alliance on here, that uh, and I always like just say this as an additional right is that if you are an alliance that you make the top 25 keep in mind right you always have that opportunity to customize your alliance uh, announcement board a little bit more so if you want to put like a discord in here other contacts uh, discord contacts you know maybe you got a website whatever it may be you know feel free to do that right because when we show this off in in these videos right you also have an opportunity to promote uh, too as well right so always kind of think about you know if you're trying to build a community or expand a community right this is one of those opportunities to do so uh, that, I think, uh, is is going to do it. Uh, the, oh, the very last note I'll mention is about Kingsguard. So uh, just a nice little friendly drop is that remember the Kingsguard we have set up is specifically for representatives of alliances. So if you're a co-lead, a lead, uh, you're an appointed, you're an R4, right? We, we take one rep per alliance. Uh, if you're, you know, a top and active alliance, depending on the season, right, for the thresholds we've talked about before. But essentially, if you're, you know, at a couple billion power, you know, two and a half to three from season two and beyond, right, and higher than that, 
uh, and you're not in the King's Guard, please feel free to reach out to me on Discord, right? So I can give you some information about it, you know, see if you're eligible for it, um, and we can get you in. We have 119 players uh, of Alliance representatives right now uh, from across the game, representing, I think, over 100 kingdoms at the moment. Uh, and so it's it's a nice way to kind of, you know, communicate, coordinate with each other, socialize, you know, do some Diplo here and there, have discussions at kind of like a king-queen level, if you will, uh, and just, you know, kind of an all-around good time. Uh, with that in mind, that's it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, until next time, we'll catch you later.